Darwin has been battered by 130 km per hour winds as tropical cyclone marker sent trees flying through the streets and brought down power lines, prompting the rescue of people from a sinking boat near the city. The eye of the Category 2 storm has now moved past the city but emergency services say it's still not safe to go outside. Marcus is now headed towards the Timor Sea and is expected to hit Western Australia's Kimberley coast on Sunday. Bringing wind gusts of up to 150 km per hour, the storm brought down hundreds of power lines and trees and damaged property across Darwin and also affected the city's drinking supply. Residents have been told to boil drinking water as a precaution until further notice. Meanwhile, water police were called out to rescue two people from two boats that collided after one of them slipped its moorings in Sangove Creek as a storm struck. Officers rescued an elderly couple from one of the boats and two people from the other vessel, which was taking on water. However a third person refused to leave. Residents have been told to stay inside and emergency services are only responsible for critical incidents until the Category 2 storm passes. However, some residents did not seem phased by the cyclone and decided to enjoy a beer in a swimming pool for a friend's birthday. A warning zone is currently in place from Cape Hatham to Mitchell Plateau, including Darwin and southern parts of the Tiwi Islands. Flights in and out of Darwin have been cancelled and businesses have been told to close their doors. Though some had opened early on Saturday to let customers purchase supplies, Northern Territory locals shared the trail of destruction left by tropical cyclone Marcus which include roofs being ripped off and sheds being blown upside down. Walking paths and roads have become unusable with huge tree trunks and branches littering the throughways with one local saying they hadn't seen a street without a tree down. Street signs were torn from the ground while an iconic McDonald's sign was also destroyed. Marcus' presence was felt with. Entire root systems of decade-old trees were pulled out of roundabout centers and fans were left bent. Caravan Park residents were reportedly told to evacuate Saturday afternoon after a tree fell onto a gas cylinder at a local service station. Despite warnings to remain inside, one local reported seeing a line of cars stretching down the street from a bottle shop 10 minutes after it reopened. Freaks that.